runs through LA. And next to that creek, uh, a lot of stuff is gone now, but there was uh, these incredible ant colonies, like red ant colonies. And I used to get big pickle jars and, and, make, and watch them dig, because you can see the glass in there. And I had this whole series of pickle jars with ants. And I'd drop a bug every now and then and watch them deal with that. And, but I, 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 and then also, I, dig, I, I remember one of my favorite things too was to dig a hole in the backyard. Really deep hole, fill it with water. And I had a, I, I was always like, I'd like to have the army men fight the dinosaurs. Oh, yeah. now, I, mean, I, I mean, the whole my, my point of it is that I could get into that thing, man. Just me, for hours and hours and hours. For, I'm talking about straight up hours. This is just Ringo right here? Yeah, I've done, I've done uh, John and Paul will be doing the uh, George laugh. Talk about flashbacks. Yeah. I had one of my clients, he passed a long time ago. Otis Chan, he's on the LA Times. Dear friend of mine. And he said, I've been making tapestries for him for a long time. And I said, oh, I'm going to start painting. He goes, okay. I want to see what you got. So I paid up, okay, it's better than I can find. I want like five or six of those right now. I just flashed back on that. I, was, I, had a, I had spotted my, my house and also my grandparents' house. A similar thing in the back porch, old school kind of back porch, in, enclosed, but the washer and dryer is next to me. And I'm back there mixing colors, trying to get the right mm -hmm. color for these things. And I'm doing the same thing now. The exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Another thing I used to like to do was mosaics. When I was, I love mosaics. And all that stuff you see is mosaic. You know, I did a lot of rugs for homes and floors. And then I, uh, I said, well, how about if I take that concept and put it into like miniature rugs, like car mats? And so the car mat thing, went, and I said, well, how about, why don't I start doing portraits of cars? And people, you know, folks in California especially, love their cars, so it kind of went from that. Then I said, well, why don't I start painting? So I started painting. Dear friend of mine, Peter Muller, he passed about a month ago, and uh, has an, he has an incredible collection of French cars. We actually did a portrait of him in one of his cars. So, as far as something that's precious to me, that one, uh, we unveiled that in April. Incredibly precious to me, as he was.
that. But this stuff is taking me up all over the world, man. I have, I like to say, to, to kind of put in a, a summation, I like to say, you know, my clients range from gangsters to royalty. So I've dealt with serious gangsters and also royalty. One client, I, I used to travel to Europe a lot. One client I have, I met him and he said, okay, I want to buy that, 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 and that. Okay. I want you to bring him to my castle. So we're talking. It's okay. So I'll be at your house. He's going, no, 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 it's not a house. It's a castle. If you correct me. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I go there. Right, it's a castle. The moat, the, the whole thing. And he, he summons his butler. Butler brings a tray. <laughs> brings a tray. And on top of the tray. Most of, most of what I do requires space. Right. This is my been doing this. This is my uh, 50th year, man. I've been doing this 50 years, full time straight. Yeah, I would say time flies, but part of it does. But it still, it still like a long time ago, man. I have tons, tons, man, tons, like tons, tons.